Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner with Josh Berkman. Completely victorious would be just the light way of putting what you did tonight. How do you feel coming off of that win over John Fitch, putting him completely out? You know, I, I feel great. I'm, uh, you know, the, when, when I put him out and stood up and put my hand in the air, it was just a feeling of, of ecstasy, you know, just like, wow. And, you know, I don't know. I, I still got to go home and kick back and, and let it sink in and, you know, but I, I know that uh, this is this is the biggest one of my career, and I know that it's going to open a lot of people's eyes. You know, I said after, you know, this is the biggest fight of my career. I'm going to have the best performance, and I'm going to open people's eyes to the potential of my ability. You know, and I really believe that that's what's ha what's happening. You certainly did. In under a minute, we got to see what you could do with your hands, what you could do with the ground game. I mean, when you initially rocked him, and you said that you weren't thinking of going for the submission right off of the the guillotine right away, what made you transition to that? Well, you know, I mean, John Fitch has probably got the best submission defense of anybody, you know, I mean, just on, on record of anybody, you know, so uh, it just wasn't in my game plan to, to do that, you know, but again, you got to kind of go with the flow of things, and I knew that I rocked him, and I was really just trying to stand him back up so that I could, you know, get some, leverage. Get some yeah, get some, get some more back, you know, stand him up and throw a knee or something, and I, I felt it, the choke get really tight, and I was like, well, I can finish this, and when he went to, like, go down and get the takedown, I just was able to cut the corner and lock it in and once I once once I went to my back I knew I had it you know there's a lot of talk about title shots for you going into this fight and that you'd possibly face that maybe I guess the winner of uh Steve Tyson Seal and Steve Carl sorry so do you think that Steve Carl is uh, next for you um you know I I think so you know I think that uh he probably he deserves that shot he's 2-0 and, oh, and he that's a that's a big win over you know Tyson Steele so I think that Steve Carl deserves it um, you know, I'm going to talk to the World Series of Fighting and see what they think. And as soon as my hand heals up, I'm, I'm ready to go get the belt. You had uh, earlier spoken about the time that we first talked and saying that you went into the World Series of Fighting believing that you would be a champion. What's transitioned for you in this phase of your career? Um, you know, there's a few things, and, and, I, and I say it, you know, early in my career I was a fighter. The definition of fighter is to struggle, and I did that. You know, I would train for a small period, you know, six weeks, get ready for a fight. Afterwards, I would just live the lifestyle. And I was traveling, living in hotels, hanging out with my friends. It was fun and I enjoyed it. But, And then I said, so the first 30 years of my life were for me. And I enjoyed them. And the second 30 years of my life are for my family. And I really think that becoming a husband and a father turned me into a man, made me more accountable. And, you know, uh, they've just grounded me and given me and fulfilled me more than I could ever hoped. And that just makes me better at everything that I do. You know, and, and my, I just... I, I live a healthier lifestyle, and, and, and uh, I think that that's a, a big, you know, reason. That, you know, my, my fights are just a reflection of my life and how I'm living it. Wife's birthday. You said that you're glad that you didn't take too much damage because uh, that way you can do some photographs and things like that. What are the plans? You know, we're going to, I mean, it's been a, a training, a long training camp, you know, so I'm going to just forget about fighting and I'm going to go and, and pamper my wife and, and not talk about John Fitch or having to be at the gym and I'm going to let her lay at the pool under a cabana and have people wait on her and enjoy her, her birthday, so. You'd said that a lot changed with your diet, with your mentality, with uh, everything. And is a lot of that, do you, would, would you attribute a lot of that to training over at the Pit Elevated? You know, a little bit, and it's more a spirituality, ch spiritual change. You know, um, I was I was baptized LDS when I was a, a kid, and I lived a, a very righteous life up till the age of about 19. And then I got a little more freedom, and I started. My path was not so narrow; it was kind of windy. And and I just got back to the roots of my faith and and living, you know, what I believe is 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 more righteous life. And I think there's a lot of blessings in that. And I think that that's what people are people are seeing is just, you know, I'm being blessed, you know, and God has shown me his glory through my performances. And I only hope that that light can be shed to other people. Before we let you go here, uh, your finger, I wanted to discuss that. You did uh, maybe sustain an injury there in the cage. Can you, uh, do you know much about that yet or how long it might take to heal? Yeah, well, I, I hurt my hand against Aaron Simpson. I tore the retinaculum off the hammock. I got stem cell done to my hand so that I could fight but the doctor said you know you might hurt your hand so I went into this fight thinking you know there was a good chance if I landed a couple of good punches I was going to hurt my hand but I hurt my finger so I don't know if that makes sense no, makes but sense. Um, we'll uh, you know I, I knew I was going to hurt it and listen I'm injuries are vacations so I'm going to take a little time off you know and and then I'll I'll be back at it as soon as I can.
from what I understand, you did have about what, seven months of training camp and all that, uh, getting ready for this fight. So I mean, really, I, I haven't started or stopped a training camp in over two years. Um, I, I, I just I continue to train. I continue to stay in the gym. After I fought, after a fight, I take two a week off to heal. You know. The week after that, I'm, I'm doing yoga and running, and then I'm back in the fight gym two weeks later. So, you know, that this fight will be no different, even with my injuries. I'll still do that, but it'll just be a different kind of a training and, and healing up and things like that. So, Well, we wish you all the best in coming back, Josh. And uh, again, that's Josh Berkman, fresh off a win over John Fitch. I'm Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner.